A survival horror game, Resident Evil 2 features the same basic gameplay mechanics as its predecessor, Resident Evil. The player explores a fictional city while solving puzzles and fighting monsters. The game's two protagonists may be equipped with firearms, but limited ammunition adds a tactical element to weapon use. On the status screen, the player can check the condition of the protagonists, use medicine to heal their wounds, and assign weapons. The character's current health can also be determined by their posture and movement speed. For example, a character will hold their stomach in pain if wounded and will limp slowly if on the verge of death. The protagonists may carry a limited number of items and must store others in boxes placed throughout the game world, where they may later be retrieved. Each protagonist is joined by a support partner during the course of the story. These characters accompany the player in certain scenes and occasionally become playable. Certain rooms contain typewriters that the player may use to save the game. However, each save expends one of a limited number of ink ribbons, which the player must collect in the game world. The graphics of Resident Evil 2 are composed of real-time generated and thus movable polygonal character and item models superimposed over pre-rendered backgrounds that are viewed from fixed camera angles. The game uses tank controls, meaning that pressing up moves the character forward, down reverses, and left and right rotates, independently of the camera perspective. The main addition over the preceding game is the zapping system, by which each of the two playable characters are confronted with different puzzles and storylines in their respective scenarios. After finishing the A scenario with one protagonist, a B scenario, in which the events are depicted from the other character's perspective, is unlocked. The player may start the A scenario with either of the two protagonists, resulting in a total of four different scenarios. Actions taken during the first playthrough affect the second. For example, the availability of certain items may be altered C. After each game, the player receives a ranking based on the total time taken to complete the scenario and on the number of saves and special healing items used. Depending on the player's accomplishments, bonus weapons and costumes may be unlocked as a reward. The original version of Resident Evil 2 contains two standalone minigames, The Fourth Survivor and The Tofu Survivor. In both of these minigames, the player must reach the goal while fighting every enemy along the way with only the default item loadout. All later versions, except the Nintendo 64 version, add a third minigame, Extreme Battle, which consists of four playable characters and three stages. Resident Evil 2 received critical acclaim upon release. Its original PlayStation release holds an average aggregate score of 93% at game rankings based on 25 reviews and 89 out of 100 points at Metacritic for both the PlayStation and Nintendo 64 versions based on 13 reviews. The majority of reviews praised Resident Evil 2 for its atmosphere, setting, graphics, audio, and overall gameplay, but criticized its controls, voice acting, and certain gameplay elements.